I said in my opening video that I specialize in golf driving, so I wanted to spend a couple minutes kind of talking about some of the research I did and how you can apply this research to your own golf. So my research was quite simple. Um, I got some pros together and I tested their driving under three conditions. The first one was their normal drive. Second one was just trying to hit it straight. And third one was just trying to hit it long. And what I found, and when I started this project, I wasn't sure what I would find. But what I did find is there wasn't much evidence to suggest just trying to hit it straight was a good thing. And I think so many golfers are doing that. What I also found was when people tried to hit it further, they didn't lose clubhead speed and they actually gained clubhead speed. So you would think that the movement would get so out of control, you would lose your swing. That's not what I was finding. Um, if we look from a sequencing perspective, so when you judge a swing on its efficiency, um, looking at um, how the body moves, so what should happen is we get to the top of our swing, the hips move, the chest moves, the arm moves, and then the hands come through. Um, what I was finding is the pros were doing that sequencing the same, if not better. So again, I'm seeing a lot of evidence that trying to hit the ball further is a good thing. If you struggle with your sequencing a bit, um, just trying to whack it might not help. So I'm not trying to argue with you if, you if you currently try and hit it a bit smoother and slower, you hit your driver better. But what I found is a trend in all of the pros of how they hit it further. And I think that's the bit that I want to kind of focus on today. And that was the left foot. This left foot, or not this left foot, their own left foot, but they pushed out of it more. So they put more force through this left foot. Um, you can push through both feet, but what I found was from like, when I started comparing everything, I found a massive significant difference in the resultant force of the left foot. So if you're someone that loses control when you swing too fast, it's usually because the arms start doing all of that speed. I want you to think to hit your good drives, your best drives, you're not going to slow down. You're going to push hard through the left foot. And what that does, so if I start with a good setup, you see I start with an angle. You see my, my spine is, is a bit forward, how it should be. As I come through, I push through the foot. You see I finish up in a straight line. With driver, because the shaft is longer, if you try to stay down just to hit a straight shot, this tends to happen. Low heel to the right, the dreaded slice. Not that any of you have ever done that. But can you see, trying to be in control is created anything but. Sometimes we've got to lose control to gain control. Push through the foot, gets the body moving, puts energy through the system, lets you launch the ball high and hit the ball far and straight. Apart from that, it doesn't work. Go on, let's see one to finish up. What it does as well is it lets you tee the ball up relatively high. If you're the person who really tees it low, again, you're probably coming here a bit. So I start with the angle down. I swing back, I push. Oh, long and straight. So try this next time you're out on the course. If you are not that big of friends with your driver, maybe you're giving it a little too much respect. Push hard out of the left foot, push the body up, see if you can hit some great shots. Thanks for watching. Like I say, get some comments if you have more questions on this topic or if you have some swings to send in. I've um, been loving helping you out so far and uh, you've got me for a few more days. So uh, get those comments in.